Hey, what's going on, guys? My name's Mobile Blue Gamer, and today I've got an episode. I said I would do another one. I've been doing three episodes re uh, so far, so by the looks of it, I could be doing daily, which I'm really hoping to do. Um, this is just a little episode of what I think of the new Blunderbuss. I have yet to get the other variants. This is just my thoughts on this brand new uh, sh uh, shotgun. Um, I've got the default weapon. You actually need to get a variant of this weapon, which I didn't think you had to. Um, I thought it was just the STG and the um, SVO, which is a sniper rifle and assault rifle. Um, but apparently you have to get it for all three. I managed to get a variant um, during Noah J5.6's five, uh, five, live stream. Um, I was in a, uh, his match and that, and he gave me luck and yeah, I actually got one. So here you go, guys. I'm actually bringing you a video of it. Um, it's a really good one. It's a one-shot um, kill up really close, basically the same distance as a shotgun. Um, but it's like a hit marker central, uh, pretty much uh, long range. That's why when I unlock it, I'm definitely going to put on um, advanced rifling 100% um, because I don't want these pesky little one-shots. Uh, no, hit markers. And, um, yeah, so, um, this is just a little gameplay. It, when you shoot it, it sounds like you're, like, I don't know, it sounds like thunder. I, I think it sounds like thunder. And, um, I counted right, it takes around about, I don't know, anywhere between to seven to eight seconds to reload, which is pretty long once you think about it. And if it's a one shot, you pretty much shoot eight seconds, shoot eight seconds, shoot eight seconds. God, that's a tongue twister. I challenge you guys to do that tongue twister. It's say, um, shoot and eight seconds afterwards. I bet you'll get your tongue tied. Like, I was pretty much up close to him there, but I got a hit marker, so I was like, okay, whatever. And I just kept on going back. I kept on trying to kill people. And, uh, yeah, I'll show you the stats in a minute. Um, this is actually a pretty powerful shotgun. Just hate how the reload takes so long. Um... I'll try and get some gameplay of the SV, um, no, the STG and the SVO, but I don't have it unless one of my friends have it, um, or, um, I manage to get it or something, or if I pick it up or something, I'll try and do a little video and tell you guys about it, everything's good about it. I won't have the exact stats, so, um, bear with me on that. They did add in legendary weapons, I think only for these two guns, uh, these three guns. Um, because I've seen a lot of people just get these three legendaries. Um, I know Noah J456 in his end of his stream, he got the SVO legendary. Um, I know a couple of other people have got the STG um, legendary and that. But I, my STG is my favourite gun. It's, I, I don't know how to explain it, it's just amazing. Um, I love it in Co uh, World at War. COD 4, um, I played COD 4 on PC and that, and also um, in Zombies, I absolutely loved it in Zombies, any time I was playing a zombie map with it in, I would always save up to get that, it's an amazing weapon, um, I can't wait to get it, I went uh, 23 and 0 earlier, it was just so, uh, I picked it up and I went 23 and 0 with it, it's just such an OP gun, um, you do, I would recommend putting Scavenger on because you only get about 90, um, uh, you get 13 um, uh, clip, and then for your uh, reserve ammo, you get about 90 bullets. So you burn through ammo pretty quickly, and it, you do kill them quick, pretty quickly because the fire rate is pretty good. But I would recommend putting scavenger on because you definitely need a few extra bullets if you're gonna put on, um, like some if you're gonna get any more clips. Like, I have not clips if you're gonna get any more, like, shots in before you die. So I definitely had scavenger on, um, I was running scavenger a lot, um, just so I could, because on this class I've got scavenger because you don't have many bullets, you have about nine bullets, I think, um, nine bullets or something like that, so, and the reloading mechanism is really horrible if you, like, try and boost away to save yourself and hopefully it reloads, well, yet again, you're probably gonna die, I would not recommend this if you're, like, say, playing at, um, domination or hard point, more like a free for all or a hardcore game mode, but don't play any other game modes. Right now, I'm going to show you my stats. Um, this is a blunderbuss. I've got quick draw grip. When I unlock the other ones, I'm going to put on advanced rifle in the stock. Um, advanced rifle, so I don't have to get all these um, hit markers again. I have um, I have lightweight as my perk one, um, just so I can run faster. 
Uh, I have Fast Hands, my perk t uh, 2, and also Gun Ho. And then I also have um, Hardwire, immune to system hacks, because I hate system hacks. Um, horrible. And Scavenger, definitely. And then I also have, um, under this, I also have, um, what's it called, uh, Overclock and a UAV, because I like a, U I like a UAV and also like to run fast. Um, this is a stat. I, this is the variant I got. Um, I, I didn't like it because of the accuracy. It was uh, meant to be three accuracy, but minus one accuracy, so it made it two accuracy. So that's pretty bad. Um, I, I'll show you the stats of the other one. It, it's not the best in the world um, variant. I think they actually um, fucked it up a bit by doing. It's meant to be blunderbuss, and then the variant name. But here we go, it's um, 19 damage, it's got a lot more powerful than the, any other shotguns, plus 3 accuracy, plus 2 um, fire rate, uh, 4, uh, what's that, 4 range, and about, I think, 14 or 13 um, handling, and uh, I think that's around about, I actually don't know how many accuracy that is, uh, how many mobility that is, um, my screen's a bit blurry for some reason, I don't know, I'll have to fix that. Um, but of course I have the camo, I have camos on it, um, cause, uh, I have the royalty camo cause I completed all the ch uh, challenges on my other weapons, and this doesn't count as one of the challenges, so I can use this, I actually really like it with the, uh, camo on it, um, let's just go in fire and range, um, and it actually shoots a lot of bullets when you think about it, you could probably kill a couple of people with it, um, in one shot and that, um, I just don't like the reloading, it takes too long, um, you can't even speed reload, I don't think, um, I didn't try it, but, uh, yeah, it's not the best variant in the world, um, the best gun in the world, um, but it is quite good if you like these medieval type guns. I'll definitely get the SVO, I'll go with a completely different video on these when I get them, um, and also the STG-44, um, you can pause this video at any point to see the stats, um, you're more than welcome to, but... I haven't got them yet, so I'll do a completely different video on them in my next video. I want to thank you guys so much. I've almost hit 25, uh, 125 subscribers, and I've also hit 1,000 views um, on my channel. That mind-blowing. I really, all my friends were saying, oh, your channel's horrible and that, and I could get that many subscribers in a day. I don't care about subscribers much. I care more about the videos. I care about you guys like the videos. I care more about views. You can subscribe if you want. That's amazing. It shows me that you want to see more. But I prefer if you like the videos. Um, just go for a couple of likes. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.